I must admit, I've been really stubborn. I pretty much ignored all the advice that I need to use a child theme when designing websites, especially with Divi, because that's the main theme that I use to design my websites. So one day I did an update to one of my client's websites and I was devastated because it pretty much wiped out all my custom settings that I'd uh, added on to my pages. So the pages that I did the changes to are my function.php and I think it was the single.php file. So when I did the update from Divi, it pretty much wiped out all those changes that I did. This was a very, very hard lesson that I learned. So. I went on a journey to search the best way to create a child theme. So I wasn't interested in doing it manually because I'm not really more on the technical side of things. I like to do things very, very easy. So I came across a tool which I'll share with you in this video today on how to create the child theme. So let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a quick way to install your child theme. So when I was doing my research, I came across this uh, resource here on Elegant Marketplace, which allows you to create a child theme. So to create a child theme, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here to the child theme maker and you can start off by adding your company name. So I'm just going to call it um, child. Yeah, or I'll just call it DV child, but you can name this, you know, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so over here on the next step, you need to choose either DV or Extra. So depending on what your website is running on, uh, this is where you select. So in my case, I'm running DV, so I'm going to select DV. And then you can add your own version number. So I'm just going to call this V.01, like that. And then over here, you need, to, um, you need your name uh, or company name. So I'm just going to call this um, Mac, like that. And then here, if you need to add a URL, you can do that. So I'm just going to add my um, URL for my website, divuniversity.com. And then if you need to add a screenshot, now this you don't have to do it if you don't if you don't want, but it just makes your your screenshot for your child theme uh, look nice in the theme in the theme area. But uh, I'll just leave that uh, for now as it is. And then over here, you can also add your own custom CSS if you want. So in this case, I'm going to leave these two options. Um, blank and then I'm just going to go ahead and create my child theme. So as soon as I click on here, what what will happen is it's going to download all my files to my download folder. So I'm going to click on that and we can see here it's downloading. So pretty much that's good. Now what we need to do to install the child theme is to go over to your website. Now I'm already logged into my WordPress dashboard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my themes and then I'm going to add a new theme. So I'm gonna. So you can see here this the, that the DV theme is the one that's activated. So I'm gonna click on Add New. Right. So now I'm gonna click on Upload Theme, and then I'm gonna click on Choose File. Now we can see here this is the child theme that we've just downloaded. We've called it DV Child. So I'm gonna click once on that and click Open, and then click Install Now. So this might take a while, depending on. Um, your uh, internet connection. Okay, so now you can see that our our child theme has been installed. Now you can go ahead and activate. Okay, so that's looking good. Now let's just double check and make sure that uh, this hasn't uh, messed up our website. So I'm just gonna go over here to my main site, open that in a new tab, and we can see that our website is working as normal, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so everything is working fine. Okay, so now that everything is working okay, all you have to do now is come over here to the editor and whatever CSS you need to add to your website, all you have to do now is to add it over here. Okay, so that's how pretty much you uh, install your child theme and this is where you add your code as you're building your website. So now by doing this, every time TV has an update, you don't need to worry about your files getting overwritten. So there you have it. This is how you create a child theme. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.